Right, welcome back to no episode two. Hope you Looks guys like enjoyed the first got a one. To donate anything before this all went down. Looks like nobody got a chance. Looks to like nobody got a chance. Yeah, down. right. I'm sure they've already ate everything, isn't it? Hi. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> What are you messing around with there? A radio. a radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. It's missing batteries. No batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Are you really? I don't know what batteries look like. Am I that so, stupid? I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <coughs> hey, there's a battery. Get it. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Menus of ice cream. Oh, could you stop it? Oh, it's all melted now. Can I, can I not see the ice cream? I could really eat some. Take energy bar. Can I not eat that either? Come on. Take energy bar. Eat the fucking energy bar. Why the hell am I taking? I haven't getting all these energy bars. Hey, Clem. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? I need to get Nothing. Him. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Do you Can want I, anything? Uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see so, about that. Do you want an energy bar? So, um. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Awkward. Being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Give it. Not fucking much, energy, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Uh, go and talk to these lot. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying <laughs> to keep him relaxed. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. <laughs> Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. I'm going to get back to him. Sounds good. Here, have an energy bar. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Do you want an energy bar? I can't give you an energy bar. Oh, never mind. We're going outside. No, no, we're just going into a different room. Never mind. Uh, Clementine's behind us. 
again. Can't think about them in here. <laughs> nice club. <laughs> Just shut the door. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector at least. Wait, so um There's a photo the... over there. Pick it up. Hey, there you are. All right. So it's his. Oh, all right. Okay. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. That's Nash. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Look at the alley. This door leads to the back alley. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh, a stick, walking stick. All right, okay. What's that? It's a walking stick. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. <laughs> Can I not have the cane? Come on. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Well, I could still hear you, by the way, just to let you know. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No. It's not. But I think it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Parish Here we go. To... Do you have kids? No. No. You don't have a <laughs> family? Um. Uh. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those That's are good cool. jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. Oh, that's good. That you you didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Yeah, you won't actually. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope 
hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Tell her. Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish they were oh, different. That's a yeah. lot of money on the turtle beach. I got into some trouble and then I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. There we go. We, we just told her. It just seems right for coming down to that. Oh, I'm sure I should give it to us. Oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is she got a splinter. A little. Do we need that first aid kit? Your bandage. Yep, that first aid kit. That's a that's a fucking plaster, not a. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. No, at least she's got manners. Okay then. Excuse me. She cut the t she cut the t she cut the top of the finger, not her bottom, not the round the middle. Lee. Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find you. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's try the door to the pharmacy. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. It's the remote to my dad's TV. <laughs> oh, they be. That's what I figured. I'll, um, speak to you after this. It'll be easy. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Uh. Have you I... heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. Never mind, then. Let's go to the door. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Okay. Lee? What? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. I might as well just be straight up blunt with it. Okay, stop pretending to uh, stop stop doing that, please. It's bugging me. We just need to get back to Here, Florida. have a bar. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. No problem. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said no, your family was from here in Macon? That's yes. right. 
where are they? Should we go looking for them? Right here, but I'm not going to tell you that. Oh, fuck it. They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Fuck it! We let that boy die. I know, man. I know. It wouldn't have taken much. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. I don't want to ignore him, no! Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, okay, then. well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies, and you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Let's go now, then. Can I not? Well, for God's sake, I've really got to go round. The battery this in. battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Hey, Carly. You, you ready, ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Hello. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then up there in the corner, gonna have to go and get him. Crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> Alright, so we've got to figure our way out around this place. Well, there's an axe there, we might be able to use that, if we can actually use it. Guy sat down, he's got to move. Someone munching on someone. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here, quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Go 
go over there. Yeah, no. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Go back over. Go down to that girl. They really want to get into that room. Never. Fucking find out. The screwdriver. Shit. Can't break the glass though. Pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I'm done trying to punch out windows. By the car door. Okay, you said that. Well, you just have to get it quietly. No, go down. No, no. Ah, look this way. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. How the hell? I don't want to look up here. Stop it. Go back over there. There's got to be somewhere I can use over here then. Unless it was to the left. I just missed. Go back over there. Sure, I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. What the hell? Come on, brick wall. Can I use a brick or something? Oh, don't you dare look over at me. We should keep looking around for weapons. I know where a weapon is, but I kind of can't get to it. They really want to get into that room. Right, we need to go through here. We need to go to this. How the hell do we get in? I can't break the window. I'm done trying to punch out windows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. And just fucking open the door! Come on! Okay, how the fuck do we do this? How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Trying to shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? Only if he had towards that door, he's going to unleash enough noise to totally screw us. Well, I need some, like a bottle or something. There's a pick in the truck. There's a pick There's in the truck. Pick in the truck. I need something like a rock. I need something like a rock and I can't find it. It's probably hiding around here and I can't find it. It's got to be down there. It literally has to be down here. We're going to need weapons. Never. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. They're starting to take the purse now. I'm sorry, this. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. Yeah, but how is it? Oh, fuck's sake. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Wanna head over to the right? Yes, I do want to head over to the right to go get. Because what I want you to do is probably shoot through the pillow and that creates a silence, probably. I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. Yeah, exactly. So you use the gun. The door. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. What are you gonna do with oh, that? Oh, come on. I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying I'm to I'm trying to pay you again. Can I? Find a way to kill that guy before he alerts the others, okay? Pillow. Your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Not really. I've been pissed off trying to find a find a pillow. A bloody pillow. We can get that guy by the wall over there, I bet. I prefer cover that can't just roll away. Well, we need to move it to get to that one now. We're going to reverse it into. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, mind you, that kind of didn't create much attention. Be quite quiet. Oh, come on! Okay, I would have got the fucking. Let's get the ones over there. Head upstairs and get out of here. Now let's clear out the area around the RV. Uh, oh, I've kind of got no fucking weapons. I either want the axe or the blooming screwdriver. I'm actually going to use the pillow on everything. No, I can't use it on him. Go back over there then. Have a quick nosy at him. Hi, how you doing? No. Nope. So I've got to get the thing, obviously. But ow! I can't break the bloody glass. Oh, this fucking spark plug! Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. There you go. No, there's someone crying in there. Grab the fucking screwdriver. That can scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Right now. Let's go get that motherfucker. Oh, them motherfuckers. 
Which one are we taking out first? Obviously, probably. Can I take this one out? No. I've got to take out this one first, then, obviously. I'll wait for him to get closer. Wait. I'll wait for him to get closer. Oh, come on. In the head. Behind him. Lee, get him! Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. You can shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh no! <laughs> you want to see a magic trick? Now you see it. Now you don't. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit! It's cool. Now we've got this. Are Make you two one. done? Two more. That should help. Nah. Do you really think so? Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Slowly up the stairs. Yeah, now you see it, now you don't because you're dead, yeah. Hey zombie! Axe to the face! No, axe to the neck, but okay. Oh! Nice head chop off. Hello in there! We're here to help! Please just go away! Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. We're done the door. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm no, bit! Burn. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, okay we'll, leave. we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. No, you are not you taking the gun. gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We you can't ever go. Do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Uh. Whoa! Oh, crap. Ah. Oh, Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. Shoot herself. Just let her do we'll it. Find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just. No! 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 Can... Yay! She shot herself. Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, come on, Gwen, really? Let's get out of here. Shit! Here they come! That's nice, bro. Get in! <laughs> That is an obvious right? war. Yeah, we had some that close isn't. calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Oh, How can I with those things out there? I stopped to do anything. Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Yeah, why so, not? Let's have a look around. Let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. Well. Someone's having a nice munch. They just... Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, dude. I know. <laughs> Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Yeah. I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? <laughs> I love the face. That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. I can't reach that brick. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there. This is brother. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. Open sesame. Work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there.
Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't break. reach that brick. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Uh, me. Grab the brick. <coughs> Throw it at the TVs. Make more noise then. That should distract him, hopefully. And okay, thank you. Alright, I'm going. Be careful. Never. Still not doing anything. Come on. You have to chop me. There you go. Finally. Better. to fucking say that. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. I want to find the other back. Oh, no man. Oh no! Oh, shit! We gotta hurry. Can you not just turn off the alarm? <laughs> I love how she's got a screwdriver in her shoulder. Or well, the back of her shoulder. Uh, 
Furniture outlet. Oh fuck. Drugs! Come get your drugs. Oh, maybe time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! Oh, on it. Are you sure? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. What the fucking door? Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing! The window was screwed! Your stick! Go get the stick, the walking stick! Fucking shut the door! I found something! There you go, walking stick! No, oh, dog, come on now! Oh, Who the hell do I go for? Choice again. I'm gonna have to say, Carly, she's. There we go. Oh, my God. But Carly's got the gun. No, 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 get off. Get off. Get off, there you fucking bitch. No! Oh, yeah, son of a bastard. Okay, I'm out. Letting somebody else get eaten today. Thanks, Especially Kenny. a good friend. Jesus. Freaking asshole. Fucking Larry. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta's been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay. Now we're now in the motel bed. Hey. If citizens choose to stay in their homes, they are urged to be near their radios and await further instructions. Moving to the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, or Orlando off, may said. become necessary oh, in order to oh, ensure man. the safety of all citizens. It was so awesome. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded. It was so awesome. With attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. I'm sound effects. Yeah, just to let everyone know that the oh, uh, the videos will be going up daily, like so. Don't worry about that. I think I need to go to Atlanta. Yeah. I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, 
Could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Oh, go ahead. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Let's go speak to Kenny. Hey, Ken. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, how about Clementine? Yeah. Early. Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up. Let me go deal with this.